back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're in the SS. And uh, today we're actually headed up to the inaugural Corvette of the Carolinas Facebook group meet. Um, my buddy Brett, you guys have seen his car. He had that uh, blue SS that we did the header video on and dyno. I'll have a link to that up above for that video. But he recently got a C7 Corvette, put together a Facebook group, and got a bunch of people together. So we're going to head up there to help support him. And yes, we're not the Corvette, but that's not a big deal. I'm there just to help support. And uh, unfortunately, my Corvette is still torn apart. And uh, well, you guys have seen all those videos, and well, it's still being worked on. And uh, we'll get that thing done eventually. So, but let's head up to the inaugural event. I'll try to film what I can. Alright guys, that was our footage of the meetup for the first event of the Corvettes of the Carolinas Facebook group. I want to thank Brett and everyone else for, you know, having me and letting us, you know, join. And of course we brought the SS, so we were a little bit different, but that's alright. The Corvette is behind me and we are nearly finished with it. Got a couple more mods to do on that and then we'll get back to the SS. And actually guys, on the way home I did have a problem with the SS. The rear end is vibrating like hell when it's when you're at speed say you're at 60 miles an hour and i downshift from sixth into fifth and you punch it the thing is vibrating horribly bad i have not gotten under there to find out what's going on kind of suspecting the drive shaft or the rear end the wheels all have been recently balanced and mounted so those should be fine um i'm really not sure what's shaking because if it was a wheel you know it wouldn't be shaking at idle it'd be shaking you know, real bad at speed. Kind of think the bolts might have backed out a bit on the drive shaft, but I did use blue Loctite. I think it was blue Loctite, yeah. It was Loctite of some kind, I believe it was blue, when uh, we put that drive shaft back in when we did the ZL1 torque converter back you know, a while back. So we're, unfortunately, we're gonna have to tear apart that car to find out what's going on, but honestly guys, that car can sit for a bit. I wanna get this car wrapped up and uh, like I was saying, you should see a dyno video very, very soon with this car. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more Corvette content, more SS content, and more Corvettes of the Carolinas content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll go from there. And if, also, if you guys want to help support the channel, click all the links down below, check out our website and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Yeah.